subscribe. What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? Welcome to my how to paint a demonette video. I got a lot of great feedback from my last video when I was unboxing this box of demonettes and I think I figured out what kind of color scheme I'm gonna go with so I'm just gonna show you my model really the models that I built up really quick and also I had a request to show what bits I have left over on the sprue so if you take a look at the what's left on the sprue we've got one two three four five six seven heads on this one and that's it seven heads and then on the second sprue I've got one, two, three pairs of claw, crab claw arms, as well as an eighth head and the chaos icon standard that I did not use. So those are the bits you get left over. And now let me take you through my unit. I think you will also get more or, or you know, it just depends if you're using your box as the start of a unit and so you're gonna add if you're gonna add the musician the standard and the champion or if you're just gonna use it as filler for the back in which case you would have some different bits like all these giant crab claw arms if you're not gonna use them the if you're not gonna use the the command squads with the larger hair pieces then you could the, the heads will change so the sculpts I, I agree with a lot of the comments that said the older sculpts were better. I do think that these sculpts managed to be a lot more detailed though. I think the original, original demonettes didn't have too much detail. They were a lot bulkier, so these you can, are, are a lot more defined, but at the same time they miss a lot of the character that the the older regiments have, but they, the older models have, I'm sorry, but they are really really detailed with the face, with the, the crazy demon teeth and the eyes. They look really good. So I'm just going to show you one by one the models that I've made. Here's one I made with a Dark Eldar Witch arm, I believe. One with a knife. I didn't think they should all have crab arms because what if they get itchy? What if they get itchy and they want to scratch themselves? cut themselves with their giant crab claw arms. Here's a champion I decided to put on a little bit of cork just because her giant crab claw arms seem to be so big that they might bump into the model next to her, the two models next to her, so I thought I'd raise her up. And then I drilled and put in some pins which kind of pop popped out the top of her feet and I just glued those into the cork to stabilize her. And I've got this girly here. I appreciate with these recent model sculpts how there's a lot of joints. So like the neck joint, you can angle the head almost any direction and still make it look believable. Oh, for this one, I think I used the, the Dark Eldar. Oh gosh, what was it? Is this a Hellion arm or is this a witch arm? I think it might be a... Maybe it's not a witch because it's got a gauntlet, but it's the one with this chain and the razor chain looking thing. That that was suitably slaneshi like for the standard. You got a crab claw girl here. And the detail on these corsets are just really fantastic. The swirls and the designs. <laughs> I got a great comment that, you know, you should paint paint the corsets different colored because they they wouldn't be caught dead wearing the same outfit to battle, just like a Hollywood starlet wouldn't be caught dead wearing the same dress to a gala event as another Hollywood actress. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Paint, paint them, paint up the corsets in different colors, not just gold. These ones, it's just kind of sauntering forward. This one looked a little bit off balance to me, like she's leaning to the right. So I kind of glued her a little bit more to the left side of the base just to even it out. Yeah, so the first thing you're going to be doing is building your demonettes. I think I might also base them as well, put the sand on them as well so that the, the primer of the undercoat sticks to them. There's one with one giant crab claw arm. 
than a smaller one. Yeah, that way I don't have to worry about doing it after... Oh, this is the one I call the ex-girlfriend. Because when I see her, I think of my ex-girlfriends who are just like standing like that and like screaming like, Ah, do the laundry! Why don't you get a job? Stop playing with your little plastic... Plastic toys, get a job! Ah, I have a job! It's making awesome videos on YouTube. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. I do have a job. I think that just seemed like the first thing to say. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna base these girls and then I'm gonna spray them with a white undercoat and then we will get to painting. What up, players? What was up in this mood? I finally decided on a color scheme for my demonettes. So let's take a little bit of a look at it. I went with warmer flesh tones and dark reds to contrast. And I think this is a lot better on the claws and all the talons than the, oh, focus please, than the bright red I had on the seeker. And I think this will make my unit stand out on the battlefield and look a lot different than the than the pale purplish color that Games Workshop had. So I'm gonna be coming out with a how to paint demonettes war boss tutorial in a little bit. So if you want your demonettes to look like mine, then just take a watch and follow along. It should be up hopefully by the end of the weekend. So as you can see, I've got my other nine girls in the background waiting for waiting for their paint. They've been primed white. And we'll go step by step and get them all painted up to the same standard, including basing. Okay, so thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Ah, buy me jewelry! Buy me jewelry! Buy me shoes! Ah. Alright players, so I just spray primed and based these demonettes and then I painted all their exposed skin with Deneb Stone which is a foundation paint and it's going to be the basis for our demonette skin color. If you haven't seen my other preview video, this is the standard that we are working our way up to and I based all of her skin in then up stone, except for her claws. So you want to find some place where her arm meets her hand, and that's where you're going to end the then up stone. But everywhere else in the body, you're going to paint then up stone. And then, once you're done with that, you are going to give it a nice wash of ogren flesh. So that's all the way down to the feet too, all the way down to the little claws on her talons on her feet. Can't really see it here; it's kind of blending into the sand, but. Denim stone from head to toe and then I'm gonna give all these girls an ogre and flesh wash and then I'll come back to you after that so after your ta uh, not talon flesh your denim stone and ogre and flesh wash you are going to have something that looks like this for the skin tones I started painting in with chaos black some details and trim because I am going to build up to what this looks like, the front rank of this regiment. I painted up to use as test models because I didn't want to stick with one color, just because I thought the models would, the demonettes would, wouldn't want to go to the same, to the same gala event, all wearing the same colors. So they all dressed in different colors. We've got red, yellow, purple, green, and blue. So this is where you can decide which color scheme you want to go with and I'm going to show you how to do each one. So the first thing you're going to need to do is pick a color scheme and depending on which color you want, I've got all the different colors available here with some test models in the back. So, so to go with red, the next step would be to paint black, alternating black and red on the claws, the hair, and any armbands or cloths across the front or leg bands and any of the horns you want to paint in the color that you chose. So for red you're going to use dark flesh. And this 
is what you should have if you mix it with the with the black, alternating with black. For yellow, you're gonna go with Yandan Dark Sun. And you can either make the hair the color of your choice or you could make it uh, painted black. Either will work. Just make it different and alternate it for each model. So sometimes I painted the pinchers black and the claws and the spikes the color that I chose. Sometimes I painted the pinchers the color and the spikes inside the pinchers I painted black. But you can do anything, anything you want. And as you can see the talons and the spikes on the legs I painted yellow because that's this color and I gave her blonde yellow hair. Next is green. For this I chose Gretchen Green Citadel Foundation Paint and this is a little bit of a look at the detail that I did. I also did some bolt gun metal for the chain mail inside and finally I look at this one. This is black and blue. For the blue I used Hawk Turquoise. Okay, and since she has the Dark Eldar arm with the knife, I just painted that mithril silver. The color I'm going to use to shade my colors now, for blue, if you decide to go with the blue, and if you want your model to end up looking like this, you are going to shade the blue parts with hawk tur um, you're going to shade the hawk turquoise parts with Assurman blue, which is a wash. Assurman blue is going to go anywhere you have blue on the model. And then you're going to highlight back up with hawk turquoise and then you're going to mix in a little bit of ice blue. If you don't have ice blue, you could also do it with bleached bone. Try not to go with skull white though because then it'll just it'll be too the the color you're going to come out with it isn't going to look right. Okay, so if you decide to go hawk turquoise, go hawk turquoise and a serum in blue for the wash and then build back up with hawk turquoise and ice blue. For your green models, what I've already done was I washed with Ogren Flesh into all the recesses, like in the hair and in the claws. And I'm just going to highlight back up with Gretchen Green and then I'm going to mix in some bleached bone. That'll work for this. For the chainmail, any metals, I'm going to use Bad Out Black as a wash. You're also going to want to paint the Demonette's eyes black. I haven't done that on this figure yet. They've also got these neck choker looking things and that's to hide the join between the neck, the head, and the body. So you're also going to want to paint that black. And the finished model. For that, I used as a basis for the musician. So just build back up with Gretchen Green, mix in some bleach bone. For yellow, you're going to shade with Griffin Sepia. Then you're going to build back up with Yandan Dark Sun and again mix in a little bit of bleached bone and paint in the eyes, which I haven't done yet. And let's do a little close up on the champion. This is kind of the effect that you're going to get when you shade in all the areas and highlight the edges back up. Finally for red, here's the starting phases. phase, like I said, you're going to just use dark flesh. You're going to wash with Bada Black and then you're going to build back up with dark flesh and then you're going to add in bleached bone and you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Okay, and with any color scheme you decide to choose, I could have chosen to just do red as a basis, but I wanted to give you the option of doing red, yellow, green, or blue. You're going to want to also highlight the black areas. So for highlighting the black, just use Codex Gray, do the edge highlights, and I also like to do a little bit of highlighting around the runes or the designs in the black leather. And once you paint those Codex Gray, then just give it a wash of bad up black and that will t tie it all together and darken the codex gray so it's not as black. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the rest of these five models and then I'll show you the completed regiment when I'm done and we'll finish the video with some tips on basing. All right, so now we're in the home stretch. I'm gonna show you what I do for my basing. 
So the first thing I did was I took some Adeptus Battle Gray and I painted the top level, all the, all the rocks. I painted it gray and then I washed it with Badab Black, which is a Citadel wash. And then I highlighted back up with Adeptus Battle Gray and then I also added in some Codex Gray and some Fortress Gray. And I just lightly dry brushed that over the top. So you leave the washes, the wash in the recesses, and you have a nicely looking dry brushed effect. There you go. Finally, I painted some Kemri Brown around the rim, and I added some flocking material to the top. So I used some Gale Force 9, I guess, tuft foliage and also some burnt grass to the front. It's not as bright green as the regular grass. So I'm going to finish the rest of these girls and then I will do a little wrap up at the end when the whole unit is completed. Alright players, so here is my finished unit of demonettes. And I realized I didn't really show you the banner that I did, so I'm gonna do that now. If we can get it to focus a little bit, let's back up. So I decided to scrape off the Slanesh symbol that comes on the banner, and I freehanded a little symbol of a spooky face, demonette face, looking out from it. And I gave her the. You might have seen from my my other. Or from, from earlier where I showed you that I built her, her up with the Dark Eldar chain whip thing. And I put a little skull on her base. And I decided to do her in purple as an homage to the GW purple color scheme. So most of these you've already seen. I showed them off to you in the front rank. Let me just line them up so that we can kind of see them all together and all their Creepy Crab Lady Glory. As you can tell, I'm waiting for my Space Marine game to load up. And yeah, I had a lot of fun painting these girls. Hope these helped for any of you who are interested in painting up demonettes. You can either use any of these individual color schemes that I picked out or you can put them all together in a unit like I did, mix and match, like a bag of Skittles. And I think the unifying skin tones and the black detail on the armor and the claws really unify them so, so they'll look good in a whole unit. Um, I think just having them all be looking the same would not um, be as cool as giving them all some individuality. So thanks for watching this War Boss tutorial on how to paint demonettes for the Warhammer Fantasy or 40k gaming universe. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.